Hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and as you can see on the screen we are going to talk about android app bundle i'm definitely sure that many of you might be confused from this term what is android app bundle how it is different from apks so um so basically this is a new way of uh, uh, you can say having the binaries of android application so you can use it and uh, what are the advantages we'll talk about it and uh, how you can use it for flutter for developing your android application and deploying it on play store so we'll talk about it so as you can see this is uh, developer.android.com slash platform slash technology slash app bundle where they are clearly saying that this is a new way uh, it offers a new format by which you can uh, deploy, deploy your android applications and uh, the advantages if you talk about uh, advantages then the first thing which is the most important is that it gives you a smaller app second one is that uh, it manages all your releases so if we'll talk about flutter then uh, it contains your uh, dart code as well as uh, the flutter runtime for uh, i guess 32 bit architecture as well as 64 uh, bit architecture so that's not the problem so if you have seen that error on google play that you know uh, by this time you have to uh, submit your applications for 64-bit architecture so those are all the pro all the problems which you can solve using android app bundles and other features there are a lot of features like uh, if you are a native android developer you can definitely uh, have a better instant app experiences your build times would be much better when you are actually doing that gradle work i mean when you are building your application through gradle it will be fast so um as you can see the size saving and I, i'm gonna show you how it is different so recently i uh, published one of my application uh which is ready o on play store and i'm gonna show you how you can uh see the difference how you can split the your apks and uh, so basically this when you are using app bundle it will give you uh aab file which is kind of very similar to what ipa is right for ios so the whole idea behind it what i feel is that to give you that security maybe in future people will not be able to use directly apks so that there will be less uh, piracy and all those things so it is i i personally feel it is kind of very uh, similar to what uh, uh, apple guys does with ipa so that's that's where i think android is going and now let's talk about uh, how you can use it so this is my visual studio code and this is my um flutter application which is radio and now if i am in my terminal i'm just gonna show you what we used to write to release an application and i'll sh uh, show you the difference as well so uh, usually we write flutter build apk uh, release so this is a, a proper format and now if you if you're using android uh, flutter 1.7.8 then you will get this error that you are building a fat apk that include binaries for android arm and android arm 64 so because they wanted to support this arm 64 and uh, arm android arm uh, cross 86 binaries so the a a apk size is uh, more than what it used to be so it's not smaller it's even bigger and now they give you two options one is that uh, you can either use app bundles or you can split your apks per your abis so there is a command for that for app bundle you can directly use flutter build app bundle and flow for splitting you can directly use flutter build apk uh, dash dash target platform or whatever platform you want to use or you can use the entire command this command so um what we are doing we are right now uh doing the normal process which is flutter build apk release i'm just gonna show you the difference uh between the sizes because it is kind of very important as well as there is one more thing which i want to show you that's uh the difference between the performance and uh i cannot right now show you that but uh, the good part is that when you are deploying your app using android app bundle you don't even have to think about signing because uh, let me just show you uh, that would be a much better way so, so this is my google play account i am uh, showing you the live account of my google play and you can see this is the radio app 
um, and this is the release 1.0.2 if you'll show see here then this is the android app bundle okay and uh, version code is 3 uploaded this and you can see the download size it varies from 8.7 mb to 8.99 mb which means that play store will determine what kind of device is trying to install this app and according to that it is gonna um, use that particular libraries and all those things so the apk size can be as less as 8.7 mb in fact <laughs> what i'll tell you is that i have seen in few of the devices my apk size was even 7 mb so it's it's just a random guess i guess and uh, you can see this is android app bundle another thing is that when you are using android app bundle then you have to accept the terms of app signing so there is this option app signing and you can see you can um, paste your certificates here I mean I, I should not show you but it's fine um, you can use them if you want but I know you won't use it <laughs> so this is what we can do okay and uh, everywhere when you will see everyone will prefer that you use app bundles you can also use this bundle tool I can put the link in the description to decode those app bundles to generate the APKs so right now it is possible I, I'm not sure whether it will be possible in the future otherwise you don't you have to directly use the Google Play console to maybe you can um, use this thing what we call it like uh, if I go here um, here so um, maybe maybe okay not entirely maybe you can use uh, your internal test track for uh, managing your app bundles and then you will release it in production now let's go back to our visual studio code you can see the apk size here is 15.1 mb so it is not usually uh, the apk size which i actually used to have when i was using flutter 1.5.4 so now this is the size now i'll uh, do flutter so let me just clean it for the time being oh, sorry clear flutter build app bundle okay now if you will see then it will be little fast first of all second it will be very less size as compared to what we are getting right now and third is that you don't have to manage your apks differently you don't have to worry about signing it properly so it, there are n number of things which uh, you can get and tr trust me this is a game changer so this is what anyone would prefer also with flutter 1.7.8 it comes with android x support so you don't even worry have to worry about that and let's just see i mean i just made this video just to make sure that you can uh, identify so if you will see this this thing now it's 15.4 mb but but there is a challenge here that even it is 15.4 MB you don't have to worry about it because it will be um, this I mean if I will just show you so here we have we are into Android or I should go to this folder so let me just open this folder and let me just show you so this is the release folder where you are getting this AAB file okay app.aab which is 16 MB as of now but once you will um, what I should do one second so once you will um, go to Google Play account and when you will uh, create this app here then the size would be around 8.7 to 8.99 MB so you can see the difference so that there's a very big difference for especially for flutter applications so I will suggest you to use Android app bundles if you have any other question regarding it then you can just write in the comments and obviously I cannot show you the overall process but um, maybe maybe let's try and let me see if I can do that so manage releases I'll create one new release just to show you that it works so create release we will come here and you if you have not opted for app signing then you can see that it will give you this uh, warning that you know it, it, it should protect your app by signing and here you can see browse files you can directly deploy app bundles I'm just gonna add here from here although it is going to give me some error because of the version code or something and version code will probably be the same but it works 
as you can see google play is generating and optimizing apks from your android app bundle and you will be amazed by the size so that's the most uh, i guess the prioritized thing which you should do uh, with deploying app bundles and uh, i'm not sure whether it's gonna work but uh, it should work if the version code is different although i'm sure that it's not different okay whatever so <laughs> this is the video about it you can go to this flutter.dev slash doc slash deployment slash android and here they have updated the docs and you can see how you can generate app bundles so building the app for release one is app bundle which is preferred again which is kind of good second one is apk so you can test it using the tools which is bundle tool which i already told you it's a, just a command line tool which you can use another one is using google play obviously and if you want to use some other things you can do it i mean if you want to split your apk so you can see it gave me an error that because it's existing version 3 code already here so that's not the case so i guess you got the idea about app bundles and uh, that I, I guess it will be helpful for you so thanks guys for watching this was one of the biggest update in flutter 1.7.8 and even for native developers i would suggest to go for app bundles so if you like the video then like press the like button press the bell icon to get future updates subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care have fun and keep developing